BBC Three's Odd One Out is here at nine on BBC One. Take yeah, a it, mature. Okay, well, it has recently been announced that from next year, all state schools in England will teach first aid as part of the curriculum. I think it's a great idea. This. Brilliant. Yeah. Scarlett Douglas has been finding out more. Fourteen-year-old Tom is a fairly normal teenager. He likes video games and goes to his local sea cadets group twice a week. But at the start of this year, he did something extraordinary. While waiting for the bus to school, a young man near him collapsed and stopped breathing. Tom quickly began giving the young man CPR and kept him stable until the emergency services arrived. He'd learnt his first aid skills at his Sea Cadets Club. Tom, you actually saved someone's life, didn't you, using CPR? Were you scared at any point? During the experience, I don't think there was much time for for thinking about me. It wasn't until afterwards on reflection when I could think about the adrenaline that, that was going through and you, you start shaking a bit. Each year, thousands of people in the UK lose their lives in accidents or medical emergencies. The NHS has said that many deaths could be prevented if first aid was given to people before the emergency services arrived. At the moment, first aid isn't taught in most of our schools, but as of next year, that's all going to change. From 2020, it'll be compulsory for all school children to learn vital life-saving skills. I'm in Barton Court Grammar School in Canterbury to see how young people are learning the skills of how to deal with a life or death situation. Teacher John is showing his class the basics of how to help an unconscious person. Most casualties are on the floor. If they're on a chair, you can't always get to them very quickly. Lay them down on the floor so you have plenty of room to work near them. So take away from this things that you can do in the future. So they're not breathing. They need your help. What are we going to do? You open up the airway and then do two rescue rooms. Come on. How important do you think it is to be able to learn these sort of skills? If someone in the middle of the street just collapses and they uh, aren't breathing, then you've got to know how to do this. Put two fingers under the chin, lift it up and pinch his nose. Yeah. No air escapes. Do you think you'll be able to put these skills into real life? Yes, yeah, definitely. You wonder if you're ever going to have to be put in that situation. But I feel like it is a good skill to learn. If you do get put in that situation, you'll know what to do. When Tom saved a man's life at the bus stop, the skills he'd learned in a classroom gave him the confidence to help. Well, it is very different to doing it on, on a dummy. It's a, a real person you're doing it on uh, in real life. You have to carry on, really. You, you can't not do CPR because you're scared about being intimate with, this, with the casualty. Charities and individuals have campaigned for 10 years to get first aid onto the curriculum. And to mark the occasion, today they've been demonstrating their life-saving skills in central London. 10-year-old Sophie helped her mum after she collapsed at home. I put mummy in the recovery position and then I called 999. It was a skill she'd been taught at her local beavers group. She'd only learnt it the night before and she hadn't really talked about it a lot. So the fact that she just got on with it and done it I'm so proud of her. You never might know when you could come across a situation where you need to help someone and it could be a loved one or someone you really care about. The benefit of teaching first aid to school pupils means that we will create a generation of lifesavers. Yeah, I think if everyone knew how to do CPR and basic first aid, think about the lives that, that could be potentially saved. Yeah! Well. Great initiative, as you say, the British Red Cross and lots of others actually are campaigning for first aid to be part of the curriculum in Scotland, in Wales and Northern Ireland. And after watching that, I am going to go on a refresher course to know exactly what yeah. to do in an emergency.